Developing tonight, a husband and wife are dead, and their adult daughter is badly injured after a house fire in Polk County. Well, tonight, we've learned that authorities are searching for a person of interest. Fox 5's Patty Pan live in Polk County tonight. And Patty, what do we know about the person who investigators are looking for? Okay, so police have confirmed that the man that they are looking to talk to is named Ricky. He is actually related to the boyfriend of the sole survivor in this fire. That 39 year old woman was airlifted to Grady earlier today. We are told she is listed in critical condition with first and second degree burns. I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way and show you the scene. As you can see, it's still very active out here. Firefighters are out here, as well as the Georgia Bureau of Investigation's crime scene unit. Yellow crime scene tape cordons off a house on Cyples Street in Rockmore Friday as investigators look into what caused a fire that took the lives of two people, a 73-year-old man and his 65-year-old wife. The 39-year-old daughter was airlifted to Grady. The call came in just after 8 in the morning. Bobby Barrett lives across the street. It looked like hell itself. I mean, it was awful. Once on the scene, firefighters battled the flames to pull the 39-year-old woman from the home, but even that was no easy task. We had basically what we feel was a, a flashover type event sometime in the fire that uh, that made the fire a lot worse as we were working our way into the structure. Uh, the, the fire crews got pushed back a couple of times fighting a fire and then had to work their way back in when they located the person that we were able to remove from the house. Once inside the home, they found the other two bodies in separate rooms. Originally, firefighters thought there were more victims, but later said that was not the case. Fox 5 has now learned officials are now looking into possible arson and are looking for a person of interest in the case. We believe right now from that the fire began in the house. As far as where, we're not sure right now. It is extensively damaged from the fire. Uh, uh, and and we're just we don't know right now uh, what what happened in there. Sky Fox 5 gives you a bird's eye view of the scene shortly after firefighters put out the fire. Neighbors tell us the wife was more or less bedridden because of her weight. No, she couldn't walk, and so the only time she come out was when he was taking her to the doctor, yeah. and then he had get her and put her back in the house and that's, oh, bless her heart. I guess she'd weigh over 300 pounds. I'm sure she would. Every time I see them, they speak, they wave, and I don't know them personally, but that's just a tragic thing, you know what I'm saying, for this family. They didn't bother nobody, and I never seen nothing out of them. They was just always just as nice as they could be. Again, authorities in the early stages of their investigation, but right now they are looking at this case as possible arson. The individual, again, that they're looking for named Ricky, he is being described as a white man, 50 to 60 years old, and apparently he was seen by witnesses running from the home screaming, the house is on fire, I need help. If you see him or have any information on this case, being urged to call authorities. Reporting from Rockmart tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Patty.